our banner is comprised of individual sequins because it takes a lifetime to build up your own integrity. Each sequin, individually pinned, represents every action that contributes to our ultimate goal of being a person with Yosha. The frame of our banner is comprised of many mirrors. One must always look in the mirror and reflect internally to achieve, achieve true Yosha. As the Pasuk says, Karov Hashem lechol korav, lechol asher yikaruhu be'emet. If our internal reflection is one of truth, it will help us come closer to Hashem. The main symbol in our banner is the Kohen Gadol's Choshen. The Choshen serve to atone for instances of Ibdu Tadim, legal distortions, which has been taken more generally as a reference to interpersonal crimes and unethical conducts. The way to eliminate the plague of Ibdu Tadim in all its manifestations from our midst is by recommitting ourselves to the values implied by the name Yeshurut honesty, integrity, and goodwill in our relations with all people. Inscribed in each stone are different symbols which will help lead a, per a person to a path of integrity. Integrity means that we must be honest in the workplace. As the Pasuk says, Lo ta'asu ava bamishpat, bamida, bamishkal, ubibshara. In addition, we see that it is not physical stature that matters, but internal fortitude. Because with the right values, even the small can pull the scales in their favor. A major portion of integrity is being able to admit and internalize what you do wrong. We must feel sorrow when we have sinned and admit to our wrongdoing. An example of this is with David. After his sin with Bathsheba, he immediately responded, Chatati, and admitted his mistakes. We see that Hashem rewards us for our integrity through the earth. With mitzvot such as Orla and Shemitah, we see that these are more ways to get closer to Hashem. The chupa represents relationships because the closer one's relationship is, the more critical it is to maintain complete integrity. The chupa also represents Yaakov, who was tricked by the immoral Lavan under the chupa. As it says about him, In Lavan Garti Vitayag Mitzot Shamarti. This portrait represents the difference between intellect and instinct. We must think before we act in order to live a life of virtue, and sometimes we need to hold back the initial desires of our heart. As you can see from the symbols we chose, it is obvious why we chose the Pesukim. God, the integrity of the God prepares wisdom for those who act with integrity, and Emet Yisod HaOlam, truth is the basis of the world. Our last symbol demonstrates another way to show integrity through the earth. As the Pasuk says regarding the mitzvah of Shemitah, Patoach Kitah et Yadecha Lehecha Lehonecha Lehulah Yonecha Be'arzecha.